Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday and I was looking for some melts to make some decorations for um, a few little cakes that we have coming up. But I found some really cute things. I found this, which is just a silicone mold and it's probably for cakes. Um, but I thought, I bet you can use chocolate in there. So I got this. And then I also found this, which is a little melting pot that you can just put a lid on and save it after you've melted your chocolate. So I have some melting in the microwave and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So I just poured my wafers in there and they melted and I could squish this around maybe to stir it up. First, we're gonna just pour it in. Now if you can see that. So I have it just poured in the bottom and then I'm just gonna work it around in the mold so it, it covers all the mold and it's kind of probably more important to have a little bit more on the bottom because that's where most of the pressure is gonna be when we try to pop these molds out. But um, I'm just moving this mold around and getting it everywhere in there. And if I'm missing some spaces, I'll just go back and add some chocolate and still continue to roll it around. So it looks like I might need a little more on this side. So I don't know how many wafers that is, maybe 20 wafers, no, I don't think 20 wafers. I'll count them the next time I do them to tell you how many I have in here. But it really is gonna come, you know, just with practice. If you can get it out of the mold, great. If you can't, then, um, you know, you can just pop out the pieces and remelt it and start over again. So. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed that this works on this one. And what I'm gonna do after I get it all rolled around in there is I'm just gonna stick it in the freezer so it gets cold and hard, and then I'll tr try to pop it out. And like I said, no mistakes here. If it doesn't pop out, we'll just um, melt it down again. All right, it looks pretty good. I have a little bit on the edge there that I probably should. I probably want to go up all the way to the edge because sometimes you do have a little breakage on the edge, but that looks pretty good. So it's all around in my mold. I'm going to put it in the freezer and we'll be back. All right, so we're going to hope the mold comes out. I pulled it away from the sides gently, and now I'm going to gently turn it over onto the napkin and I'm gonna push on the top just ever so gently to pull it away from the sides. And it's kind of gonna make a sucking sound like you maybe are not gonna get it, but then you're gonna fold up the sides and hopefully, there we go. That one was pretty easy, popped right out. Doesn't that look pretty? And so you have your whole cavity right there, and then you have the outside dimensions on that one. And there's three different ones in here. Um, what I'm gonna fill this with when I do that, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm making these, I'm gonna save them for um, a special occasion coming up. But what I probably will do is use something similar to this, either this one, this happens to be dark chocolate truffle. Mm. And if you don't like the chocolate on chocolate, you could mix uh, some whipping cream with this to make it a little lighter. And then you're just gonna fill the cavity and you're gonna gently turn it over onto your plate like that and then you can just do um you know some little decorations if you want with it i have a strawberry here that i'm going to put there and then of course you know just to make it look more delicious i'm going to put a few little dollops of cream and there you have it i mean it's a very cute little dessert doesn't that look good? And I have several of them made here, different, um, using the different molds and they're all beautiful as well. So have fun with this. Hobby Lobby or any other cake decorating store, you should be able to find those silicone molds. All right, we all love chocolate.